physical and sexual health. Here's how to identify low T symptoms and how to boost your levels naturally. Have you been diagnosed with low T or low testosterone or are you curious about what happens to your body when you have low testosterone levels? In either case, today's guide can help. Testosterone's role in your body. Testosterone is a hormone and chemical messenger found in both men and women. Surprised to learn women have testosterone too? While most people associate testosterone with men, and for good reason women naturally produce a small amount of it in their ovaries as well. But, for today's purposes, I'll be diving into testosterone levels in men specifically. In men, testosterone is made mostly in the testicles, with a small portion being created in the adrenal glands. During puberty in boys, testosterone is what's behind the physical changes that surface, mainly hair growth, a deeper voice and greater muscle mass. After puberty, testosterone is needed for healthy sexual reproduction and sperm production. But those aren't testosterone's only jobs. Testosterone also helps preserve bone density, produce and keep the right amount of red blood cells, determine your body fat distribution, maintain a healthy sex drive, balance your mood. The bad news, your testosterone levels naturally decrease with age. How testosterone changes throughout your lifetime. Testosterone levels peak in most men during their early 20s. So by the time your 30s roll around, your testosterone moves in the opposite direction and decreases about 1.5% each year. That's around a 10% decline with each decade that passes after your 30 year mark. By the time some men reach age 45 to 50, their testosterone levels are just 20% of what they used to be in their 20s and 30s. And, unfortunately, this isn't the only aspect that affects testosterone levels in men. Your lifestyle plays a big role in your hormone levels too. Lifestyle factors that lower testosterone levels. There are two major lifestyle factors that can reduce your testosterone to dangerous levels. Number one, prescription and recreational drugs. Prescription drugs may bring testosterone lowering side effects. Here's a breakdown of the most common testosterone KILLERS. Statins used to reduce cholesterol also lower other sex hormones such as testosterone. Beta blockers and hypertension medications containing diuretics can also cause a drop in T. Opioids taken every 8 to 12 hours come with an added risk of lowered testosterone levels. They decrease testosterone 5x more than doses taken every 4 hours. Antidepressants and anti-anxiety meds can also lower T levels. Glucocorticosteroids that reduce inflammation, such as prednisone, also cause your testosterone levels to fall. If you're taking any of those medications and are experiencing the signs of low T more on this in the next section you may want to speak with your doctor about other alternatives that won't affect your hormones levels. Excessive alcohol and drug usage even legal recreational options can also lower your testosterone levels if you're not careful. Number 2, Estrogen-like chemicals. Another factor that can hurt healthy testosterone levels is your exposure to xenoestrogen or estrogen-like chemicals. I know, you're probably thinking, how would I know if I'm being exposed to those? I don't even know what an estrogen-like chemical is. The short answer is they're man-made industrial chemicals that disrupt normal endocrine functioning and can lead to health defects with high EXPOSURE. The most common include BPA, parabens, phthalates, dioxin, polychlorinated biphenyls PCBs. Okay, so that establishes what they are, but 